Right, the wind is howling. I'm gonna get my hat to stay on. But the water looks very good here for cop. Tide is pushing in. Uh, I don't know how, how, how much distance I'm gonna get. Not very really much at all. But let's hope there's a cob around. What is perfect for cob. Oh, sorry, you guys probably can't hear a word. Pretty by the wind. The water is ideal. It's probably better to go the other side. Maybe I need to put a glow on you. Yeah. I normally need the glow here. Yeah. something I just changed to the white to the glow there we go I don't know what it is feels decent There's a whole lot with them. A good sign from GT. Yeah. Oh, he did. The guy had that. Let's change over to the glow and straight away onto something. A lot of rubbish here now. But there was quite a few kingies chasing him. That means there's others around. Oh no. That's a good sign. I mean you're long at all. Yeah, just this. My bitch has moved in here now though. I want a cop that, I don't want a GT. Unless it's a big GT. Another 
Ignobilus, Iggy. Jump down there. Yeah. my jerk window so I might have one or two lying around in the car somewhere but what I've got with me at the moment is the what's his name paddle tail I'm gonna give that a try for a bit let's see hunting yeah and there could be some bigger ones around and I definitely prefer a, a jerk when I to the to the paddle tail that thing gave me some big holes in my finger Oh, 
I found one. It's an old one, but Let's see. I really haven't been here very long at all, so it's crazy. I did get here a bit earlier, I'd like to have got here a bit later now. But I'll wait, I'll wait a bit, see what happens. Every now and again the wind subsides a little bit and you can get a decent cast. Oh, got hit. Definitely push out here. As soon as I put the jerk plate on, yo, what a difference. I say I'm gonna have to go. I didn't bring my pliers because I put everything away. I move. There we go. Yeah. Fun. What incredible fight from these little guys. I'm gonna do a catch and cook this episode, so stay watching. There you go. Uh, Uncle next to me has been tying like crazy. Nothing happening and now it's into something yeah. Let's see got on there. Stumpy. A uh, little stumpy. That's a nice one. Well done, right? Anyway, that's it for the fishing, uh, fishing part. Um, notice the most important thing of this catch and cook is, is the release of the GT. Um, stay tuned. Um, so anyway, I'm heading back from up to Mars now. Absolutely beautiful, the water. Um, there's some big chases going on out there, but with this light tackle, I just can't get the distance. Um, Wish I'd brought something heavier and get further out, but uh, I'll be back again next week sometime. Give it a try. The fishing is hunting up in Durban, and I think we're in for a good season. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, as mentioned, uh, it's a catch and cook episode, so here we go with the cooking. Okay, there's no cooking involved. Uh, this is my fishing chow. First of all, we need margarine. Um, some jam, apricot jam, yum yum peanut spread, and curry chili paste, Paco. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by Paco. Um, I just really like Paco. I go through like a bottle a week. Uh, but if they're watching and they want to buy me a boat, they can buy me a boat. Anyway, so what you do. Put 
is margarine. Butter also works well. It's just expensive. Peanut butter. I'm getting into trouble because I'm using the butter knife and the peanut butter. Kids will complain. All right, next important part pack a curry chili paste. Yeah, you gotta be pretty. You do that. Yeah. And important as well, apricot jam. Can be peach jam, apricot jam, either or. So it's pretty difficult to work with this jam. There you go. That is it, a proper fisherman's chow. That's my favorite sandwich at the moment. Um, don't mock it, try it. Thanks for watching guys. Oh yeah, I forgot the final part. You, you always see these in these things, I gotta take a bite. Mm. Perfect.